Hello everyone and welcome to the new video on the channel. Today we are going to look at something that a lot of you have been requesting in the comments below. And I'm talking about the game called Loop Mancer. Before we jump and dive deep into the game and review it, I would like to ask you if you are subscribed to our channel, press the notification bell. If you are not subscribed yet, please have a look and subscribe to, it, to us. Press the like, comment which next game you want to see from us and let's dive deep into it. So Loopmancer is a beautiful game offering one of the most visually compelling indies that was released this year. It's packed with the heart pounding combat sequences and a detective mystery storyline that proceeds on exciting cyberpunk noir narrative. However, its roguelike elements feel like an odds with the game and tend to create more friction and then fun in overall solid package. So let's dive a little bit into the story. The year is 2046 and the humanity has progressed to its next stage in the technological advancement. Breakthrough in the nanobiotechnology have advanced medicine to the new high citizen walk on the streets, sporting bionic protests and the new breeds of the criminal energy to the whole wickedness of the such tag. At the center of Lumensa's story is Xiang Zihu, a devastated pirate eye still revolving from his daughter death and his wife's disappearance. Amid grief, Zixu is tasked with finding a missing journalist that could have ties with Dragon City Underworld. Quickly, Zixu unveils a conspiracy that could have been Dragon City to its knees. Loop Mancer's cyberpunk noir atmosphere is thick and engaging, being more than a simple framing device for a game that is loop based mechanics, also a very big move in the execution and the character's development. Loop Mancers is the manages to hit the right story beats to keep the player interested in what's coming next. You almost get lost in glittering succession of the strangers and the blizzard as you play as the conceptional, but it slowly reemerges and then you can get clearly see and put together the pieces of its production that is however firstly inconsistent. Not only do we come to the terms with the particulary, but we embarrass it it is then with the finding of the reason the tree. Loop Mansus is everything we have just described and more. And that's fine. With a strong end and the same time terribly naive alternative, it cannot leave your indifferent. Every layer that Zixu peels back only raises more questions for the audience and takes a few unexpected twists. The branching storylines and narratives center aren't as the complex and interwhelming as they could have been. However, it still offers enough incentive for the players to go back and experience the multiple endings as the story goes and new plays depending on the player choice. Like I mentioned, the game has a lot of different endings. And if you get hooked really a lot into the game in the beginning, you would be really interested in how the game can end depending on your different choices in the game. It's a pulp fiction mystery that's worth following from the beginning to the end. Does the story make sense overall? Well, probably not that much how you expect, but it does really matter. Because this port is really kind of the situation with its parts with all the theme and all the traditions to desire from the trash that reduced in each of us. The thing I like the most, however, is the fact that you're choosing one level instead of another. Also is very important when switching to the plot. Complete with multiple endings. It is therefore clear that certain choices are better than others and why there can be only discovered by playing. Thanks to the roguelike elements with the game, which each does all almost, credits are lost whilst, with the unlocked weapons remain such as, well, the skills, connections and stuff like that. The typical progression of the genre takes shape. Even the most unforgettable loops can be represent progress, provided you think carefully about which tools and upgrades to invest. Loop Mancer's greatest strength it is combat, which always feels fluid and widely. Combat works best for the players so mixing and matching the tools. Let's say you want to attack with kind of a special attack or something and then you want to make a special kind of move. On the other, there is existing roguelite game that struggles to find a balance in execution of the genre. Where Loop Mancer hits right, it's a kind of a story that has an interest. It's not the really main 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 kind of thing and it's not really cool for some people. But if you get hooked from the beginning, it will be really interesting for you. You just need to really mention how careful you need to be with the details in the game. So to summarize, the game has an interesting design, it has an interesting story, 
but you just don't need to miss it. And the best part is the combat. If I would give it a ranking from 1 or let's say 0 to 10, the ranking would be probably a solid 7 point half because the game deserves it. I believe that there can be some kind of DLCs or updates for the game that can make it even a solid 8 or maybe 8 and a half or maybe even 9. But for now, 7 point half is really great mark for the game. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.